So here it has been told that let S be a function, which is A, B, C. T, uh, sorry, S is a set which contains the elements A, B, C. And T is a set which contains elements 1, 2, 3. And we have to find F inverse of the following functions F from S to T. So F is a function from S to T such that for the first case, F, the function F contains the order pairs A comma 3, B comma 2, C, C comma 1. So therefore, in the first case, F of A that is equal to 3 and F of B that is equal to 2 and F of C that is equal to 1. <laughs> so therefore, for different elements, the uh, the images are also different. So therefore, the function f is 1, 1 and on 2. So here the function capital F is 1, 1 and on 2. So it is invertible. So it is invertible. Now therefore, the function f inverse will contain the elements 3, comma a, 2 comma b and 1 comma c which means which means that f of f inverse of a that is equal to f inverse of 3 that is equal to a f inverse of 2 that is equal to b and f inverse of 1 that is equal to c and uh, so this is the f inverse and in the second case the function f contains the elements a comma 2 b comma 1 and c comma 1 it means that it means that f of b that is equal to f of c that is equal to 1 but b is not equal to c so therefore the function f is not 1 1 it's not 1 1 and also the range also the range of the function f that is equal to only 1 comma 2 which is a subset of t means which is so therefore range is a subset of the codomain of the function f. So therefore, the function f is neither is not onto also. It is not onto. So it is neither one one nor onto. So the function f is not invertible. Function f is not invertible. It means f inverse can't be found. It means f inverse does not exist. It means f inverse does not exist in this case. F inverse does not exist. So hope you have understood. Thank you.